Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree haul today, which I found a ton of new items, um, like Rachel Ray dishes and whatnot. And then at the end, I do have like a, just a little Nordstrom Rack haul and Abercrombie Kids haul that uh, I ordered online and they sent it. Not much, but um, I'll do the Dollar Tree haul first in case you don't want to see the stuff. Is main, I mean, I think it is all kids stuff. So let's see. Oops. None of this organized. I'm sorry. I got. Sour Patch Kids, um, Rainbow Nerds, which I think at Walmart they're just a dollar too, so it's nothing special. Cop Stoppers and Butterfingers, and I'm just going to make like one of those. Maybe I'll show you guys, I'll do a little video on it. Just like one of those little Easter baskets out of the candy for my husband. And I think I got a nerd rope in here for the handle, but it's in there somewhere. Um, and then I got some Italian Witchbone dressing and some Chunky Blue Cheese dressing. So excited for that. I got two of these. They're wok ready stir fry lo mein. Just add meat and vegetables. Um, and I thought these would be good for like a night that would be a Chinese meal. Um, there's 10 ounces in here. It's Taste of Asia, which I think is a Walmart, a brand that they sell at Walmart. I think they probably sell it everywhere else. But I did buy two of those. Okay, come on here. And then I got, they had a bunch of different kinds of these. This is just like the bowl. Let's see. I can show you within the bowl. But it looks like it comes with like the noodle sauce. It's almost like ramen noodles, like a fancy thing of ramen noodles. Um, but I love to eat like this kind of stuff as like a meal for me quickly. Um, it doesn't expire until January 2019, but this one's teriyaki. And I think I got, it's the same brand as the noodles. I got two teriyaki, two miso, and then I got my husband a hot and sour one because he will like that. Um, but it comes with like the spoon and everything, so I thought this would be perfect for me for work. Oh, here's the other bag of the noodles. But it, that's like a perfect meal for our family, just you know, to cook up some chicken, throw it in the noodles. Um, I don't know how much they are at Walmart, but I know they're more than a dollar. Walmart's kind of spendy on that kind of stuff. There's the other miso. And then I got the kids some Kool-Aid freezer pops. They love these. So I got them those. Um, I always buy the applesauce if they come in a six pack, because usually they come in a four pack at the Dollar Tree, so I got these because they're six. I don't know if it's their brand, it's the apple snacks, but can't really go wrong with applesauce. Two more things for these pretzels because this is like I'm the only one who eats these and it is a staple for me. <laughs> so I got two more of those. And then ooh, they got some new yarn in them. So they got a bunch. I just got this purpley, like a couple shades of purple. Um, and then I got this one that has like a bunch of different colors in it. It's got like blue, like an army green, or maybe it's a gold. But they had a bunch, so I just got two. Um, these, if you see these at your Dollar Tree, they don't have them at all the Dollar Trees. So you have to pick them up because these are like a buck fifty. I swear the price keeps going up at Walmart. So for a dollar, it's a good deal. I'm just gonna put those in my husband's Easter basket. I'll show you guys. It's gonna be cute. I saw it on Facebook and I was like, oh, I have to try. And then I got this Dory Finding Dory body wash. Look at this thing. Um doesn't say the scent. Ocean fruit scented. They had a Nemo one, but they was with me and I let her pick and she picked this one, but 14 food ounces. And then this sign that says family is made of love and laughter. I thought this was really cute. It's a really sturdy sign. Like it's pretty, I like when to pick it up and it's like, oh, it's probably going to be kind of cheapy made. No, it's really nice. And they had a hope one and, or home, home and believe. But I thought this would be cute for my downstairs. Okay. Here are the dishes. I got five bowls and five plates. Um, and they're Rachel Ray brand. And they had, so I have the Rachel Ray pan pan set and like a couple utensils. And they're orange colored because that's the color I like. Um, but she does like the green and the burgundy. And they had burgundy and they had green. However, they were almost... They didn't have enough for me to get like a set of five each because there's five of us in our family. 
Um, and they had mugs, but I don't need any mugs. And they had um, little plates, like the little salad plates. I don't use those. We don't use those. I'm not a fan of them. Um, I don't know. I guess I just don't see the point. But these are the bowls. So this one's the orange, of course. They are the Rachel Ray. I love these. These are so cute. And I love Rachel Ray. I mean, with the pot and pan set and all that jazz. So I got five of those. And I was excited that the only ones I could have gotten a full set in was orange. I was so happy about that because it matches all my other stuff. Um, and then I got five plates. Let's see. Like, look at how big these are. They're huge. And they're so pretty. I love, love, love Rachel Ray. So, yeah. If you see those, get them. And they didn't have them advertised as Rachel Ray. So, like, you wouldn't even know unless you looked at the bottom of the plates. So, I would, like, recommend if you're looking for that kind of stuff to just go to the Dollar Tree and just look at the bottom of the plates to see if, what brand they are. Even the Dollar Tree has really nice plates, though, for their brands. They're really nice. Um... And I've been needing a new set, but we don't, like, my kids don't use those plates yet. They just use, like, the, like, almost like the school tray looking ones. Um, and so I just get those for me and my husband. And, you know, most of the time, like, our sets have been broken throughout the years. And so we just use the regular ones, too. Oh, this isn't even my full Nordstrom app order. So I ordered, I probably won't share it with you guys because once it comes, the kids are going to want to open it. But they had clear the rack. So everything is extra 25% off. And they had the, um, this Peppa Pig Playhouse tent that I got the kids for like, I think it was like 19 bucks, super cheap, um, because it was on clearance. But these are a couple pairs of shoes that I got the girls. They're called Oomphies. Mm Never heard of them. But these were on, so they were on clearance, and then for the clear they back the extra 25% off, I got them for six bucks. Like, how stinking cute are these? So this one is for Marley. I don't know how much they retail for outside of that price because like I said I've never heard of them um like that brand they had a bunch of that brand and then these are so Marley's in a size 1 and Bailey is in a size 11 so I got her these but I just thought these were super cute like they're velcro which is like when you've got kids like mine that's life velcro super cute for six bucks for a pair of shoes for the kids that, you know, like we buy, like in the winter, I buy tennis shoes and snow boots, and in the summer, I buy a, like a, you know, usually a pair of tennis shoes or tongs or something, just like a couple pairs of shoes to have, play shoes and the nice shoes, and they only wear them for that season because they grow out of them so fast. So for six bucks for a pair of shoes, I'll take it. And then I bought, I did, we went to, me and Bailey went to Walmart today, and I bought, um, them a pair of jellies because I grew up on jellies and so they were only like $4.50 or something so I got them each a pair of jellies. Okay, so this is the Abercrombie Kids. Let's see if I can tell you guys how much everything cost. So the shirts were um one set were seven eighty two a piece, which really is not expensive because even Carter shirts are about the same price. But I just thought this was cute. I just got them 7 8. I hope it fits. Um, looks kind of maybe a bit small. But I got them each one of those, same size. I just love the little Hawaiian little theme. So, and the thing with Abercrombie Kids is, so I buy Carter's, I buy Carter's clothes too, and I always have bought an Abercrombie Kids shirts because I feel like 7 bucks for a shirt really isn't that expensive. And they're the same price at Carter's. And, um, I have bought, in, like, at the beginning of the school year for Marley, I had Abercrombie Kid shirts and Carter shirts. And I, she is not able to wear the Carter's ones anymore because when you wash them and dry them, they get crappy looking. Like, they really do. They don't keep, they don't hold their original shape. Abercrombie Kids, she has been able to wear them still. And then I got her skirt, both the girls a skirt, um... Two years ago, I got them. I got them a size bigger, and they're elastic, and they're still able to wear them. And the skirt looks brand new. So quality-wise, I feel like Abercrombie Kids is really up there in quality. Um, I don't like. I'm almost not really buying ever or Carter stuff anymore. Like I'll buy their leggings because, you know, you can't really go wrong with the legging. Um, 
and stuff like that. But even their jackets, I bought them like the fleece jacket, which I get them every year. And I swear the quality has gotten worse. Like the jackets, I bought them in November for Black Friday. And they look, they're size 7. And they barely fit them. Like the sleeves are too short now. And it's, and it's because of the drying. They're just not good quality. And so I think, like, this is my total. My total was $66.56 for four shirts and two zip up hoodies and, like, a little mist. I don't know why I got a mist because it was on sale. Um, but I feel like if you're looking for good quality clothes, I would go with Abercrombie Kids. I've yet to have an issue with their clothes. Um, and they're just, I mean, they're the same. This shirt was only five bucks five bucks for this shirt and it's the same you know same price as Carter's and like Gymboree is kind of spinny but an Old Navy has good quality stuff I do get that. I haven't tried their shirts yet I'll do at the beginning of the year next year I'll buy one of each of the shirts and test out which one's better but that's a good price I feel like for clothes Trey's not in that size yet so I so I actually like to buy him the um Kohl's brand jumping beans I feel like they're really good quality too and you can fill it in this shirt like the fill this fills dress I mean it feels very similar to the jumping beans at Kohl's however Kohl's um so my girls are like in seven eight and Kohl's seven cuts off at seven when you get into their little kid and then goes into like the bigger kid and I'm not ready for my kids to wear some of those clothes because I'm very conservative like crew neck t-shirt you probably will never see me in anything but a crew neck t-shirt and that's my kids are kind of the same way and so I can't do the jumping beans or the Kohl's brand because my girls are in, out of that cute stage for them and then this jacket was $13 like how cute is this? You just gotta watch for their cells. Like they have cells all the time. But this is also 7A. 